What's up trainers? Mr. Six here back with another video. Guys, in today's video I have a banger. I so in today's video we're actually going to go over some of my highlights from the Pokemon Day event. I know this video is a little late. I've been busy doing other things and, and uploading other videos as you guys have seen to the channel. But I finally have this video for you guys. I'm so stoked about it because it's it's pure highlights of the shinies that I caught that day. But I promise you it's a banger. You guys, I mean, not a lot of people out there were able to catch this many shinies uh, from this event. Because this event was so short. It was only two days. And, you know, you technically two days is not a lot. And some people work and do things and it's they're just too busy throughout the day to be able to grind this event effectively for two days, right? But your boy was actually lucky and I did put in enough time. I mean, at least I think I put in enough time given that we only had two days. I put in as much time as I could. Um, one day actually I did grind for like, man, hours. I, I, I was out for like a late night sesh. And that day was actually the luckiest day for me, as you guys are about to see in the video. And without further ado, let's get right into the video. Wait, one more thing. If you guys are wondering what's up with these, what's up with these glasses, it's all Kel's fault. She said, she said that I should wear these in my next video. She would think it would be funny, so I actually wanted to put it in this video. It's just, it's just a, it's just a meme, guys. It's just a joke. Kells made me do this. The funny thing about these glasses is I can't see a thing. I can't see a damn thing. Check it out, guys. <laughs> Check this out. I can't see a thing. You can't see through them whatsoever. <laughs> hey, Kelly, why you do this to me, boo? <laughs> Get into the video, guys. All right, guys, here we go. We're gonna start off with this shiny Pidgey. One out of many, as you guys will see in the video. Pidgey was actually the one shiny Pokemon that I really had a lot of luck with. Um, you guys will see that I did manage to catch in total of three shiny Pidgeys. Um, this one was probably my biggest one at 276 CP. Definitely a whopper. I mean, for a Pidgey at least. Um, Definitely the highest CP out of all three Pidgeys that I did catch and it's cool because you know I'm gonna be able to uh, I was able to evolve into Pidgey Odo and Pidgeot You know what I mean? So here we go with the shiny Rattata 113 CP another uh, Pokemon day event shiny Pokemon right here that was released in that event um, I was really lucky to catch this shiny Rattata um, Shiny Rattata is actually the one shiny Pokemon that I didn't get uh, a, uh, another copy of. So I didn't get to evolve into a shiny Raticate. Unfortunately, he's the only one that I did need. Um, you know, I got I got all the shiny event Pokemon for Pokemon Day, except for one more shiny Rattata. So, yeah. So here we go with our second Pidgey. Uh, Pidgey number two. Uh, in the video like I said Pidgey was actually the one Pokemon that I did have a bunch of luck with so I'm pretty stoked about all the shiny Pidgey luck that I did get and here guys here we go with our very first rare shiny Pokemon day Pokemon shiny Pikachu with the flower crown with a 303 CP definitely a whopper for a Pikachu um, this shiny Pikachu is actually gonna be one of the rarest shinies in Pokemon Go as some of you guys may know, due to the flower crown on its head. Um, as you guys know, the flower crown is only given to Pokemon. Um, was only given to Pokemon from Pokemon Day, which is an event that's only two days. The shortest event that Pokemon Go has till today. Um, so yeah, guys, it's insane. And if my luck wasn't insane enough, I did manage to get a shiny flower crown Eevee. As you guys can see right here, I was playing with the animation. I got 441 CP. I did get it from a research breakthrough. I just figured that it was easier to, um, pretty much the strategy I figured out was that it was, I was able to encounter more Flower Crown, Eevee, and Pikachu through the research breakthrough. Um, it was hard like to find a bunch of them in the wild. I don't know, it was just what I figured was best. Um, so that's what I stuck to. But yeah, I'm super stoked to get those two shiny rare Pokemon that I'm pretty sure 
not many trainers were able to get the set. I was pretty lucky, you guys. Definitely was. And here's my, I believe this is my uh, third shiny Pidgey. So I did get all three shiny Pidgeys. So I was able to have one of each. I did have a P, uh, uh, shiny Pidgey, shiny Pidgeotto, and shiny Pidgey. I, I was able to get the set. Fortunately enough, I was one of the lucky ones in Pokemon Go. So yeah, guys. Definitely this event was really fun. I really enjoyed it. It took a lot of time and dedication out of me. Um, you know, like I've told you guys earlier in the video, I actually, uh, one of the days I did manage to do a late night grind sesh, where, which actually was the night that I got most of these shiny Pokemon. Um, you know, I did, I pretty much did invest a lot of my time into this event because I really wanted to get the, the Eevee and the Pikachu. But as I go through my Pokemon right here, I will showcase them. Starting off with Rattata, um, as I showcase my Pokemon, I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit. Um, so pretty much, like I said, I enjoyed the event. I look forward to next year's Pokemon Day event, which is when they release the rarest shinies. I'm, I'm really trying to trade for a shiny uh, Party Hat Pichu. So if any of you guys have a, a shiny Party Hat Pichu that you guys would like to trade, let me know in the comments below if you guys are willing to trade it. Um, I really want one. It's one of the shinies that I really have been trying to get my hands on. Uh, shiny Party Hat Pichu. I really want one, guys. So if any of you, if, if anyone of you guys have it, please let me know in the comments below if you guys are willing to trade. I will trade. Uh, if you guys see any of the shinies that I have or that you guys need that I have, I'm willing to trade. Just hit me up on Twitter or wherever. Leave a comment in the video and just let me know, guys. But yeah, guys, um, it's been crazy. Definitely, definitely enjoyed this event. Um, talk to me in the comments. Let me know if you guys enjoyed it. Did you guys get um, the two rare shiny Pokemon, which was Eevee and, and uh, Pikachu? Did you guys get happen to get a set? Were you guys lucky enough like I was? One more thing I wanted to say is uh, don't flame me too much in the comments for the title of the video. You know, it's just my opinion. You know, if anything, it's just, it's just a title. It doesn't have to be that serious. <laughs> I know some people read titles and videos and they really, I don't know, they get butt hurt. And they really get really serious and flamed up about the, the title of the video. So don't, you know, don't flame me too much. It's, like I said, it's just my opinion. Um, you know, I, I don't believe that there's many trainers out there that manage to get this many shiny Pokemon during a two-day event. It's really difficult, um, you know, given whatever strategy, strategy that you use. You know, if you get it, you get it. If you don't, you don't. You know, it's, you just do what you can to maximize your chances. Um, that's the that's the type of trainer that I am. I like to do whatever it takes whatever I can to maximize my chances and, and get the most shiny Pokemon during the events as I am a trainer that focuses on Collecting, you know, and I believe that's what Pokemon is about Collecting, you know, it's always been that way back in the day from the Pokemon cards and collecting holographic Pokemon cards back in the day So I really take that into this game. Um, I'm a collector. I like to collect shiny Pokemon um, and I also like to collect 100% IVs. So given that I'm a collector, a hardcore collector, I do whatever I can to increase my chances and just, you know, maximize my chances to get to get as many rare shiny Pokemon and as many rare 100% IVs as I possibly can. Um, so yeah, guys, just you know, just take it as what it is. Just a hardcore shiny collector, shiny hunter, and you know, just grinding. You know, trying to do what I can do to get as much as shinies as I possibly can, guys. So, yeah, just take it as what it is. You know, don't flame me too much. Pretty much, like I said, talk to me in the comments. Let me know how you guys did. And, um, you know, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Once again, here are my shiny Pokemon right here. You guys can see them as a whole. We got the Pidgeotto, the Pikachu, the Eevee, the Pidgey, the Rattata, the Pidgeot. The only one I didn't get another copy of was the Raticate. I needed one more Rattata. And um, I would have liked one more Pikachu to evolve it into a shiny Raichu with the flower crown. I think that would have been dope, but I only got one. So, yep. But that's going to wrap it up, guys, for this video. I've been Mr. Six. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to leave a like. Hit the post notification bell icon so you guys don't miss an upload. Leave, leave me a comment and just talk to me, guys. All right? I will see you in the next one. I'm signing out. Peace.